so people have been asking me as well about Broken Sin, and that's actually my most popular song now. Um, Broken Sin was actually written before I even became the Sin Knight. I believe it was October of 2005, so it took me about two years to finish it. Um, originally, it was just a set of lyrics, um, similar to some people will write lyrics and then try to put a tune to how they want to sing it, and it took me two years to figure it out. Um, Broken Sin is the... I, I regard it as my best work. It's the original song before I even became the Sin Knight, is when I hadn't really decided on much of a name, though back then some people just called me um, Justice, because well, my friends online and everything like that, they called me Justice. And that I'll explain that all some other time. But Broken Sin um, is it's deep down for me, as it's obviously one of my original songs, um, actually the original song, I should say, and it has a very, very good meaning. These days, you, you see all these kids, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm Wiccan and I'm Pagan and this and that, and the only reason they're doing it is because they want to fit in. Everybody's doing that. It's cool these days. And it really irked me. Um... So, I think that's one of the the main things about it. And it also ties in with how can you break a sin, literally. Like, killing is a sin. And how 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 is it that you can break that? If you kill someone, that's still a sin, but in making it for something, say you have no choice someone's trying to kill your family it's either kill or be killed you kill that person and you save your family as well as your own life is that justified that's kind of breaking a sin if you think about it you're saving people by killing and that that is incorporated into the song uh... the first line literally blood will tell the tale of a broken sin um, Pretty much all the lyrics in that song were actually just about all of them except for the the bridge, the sins escaping part. That's the only part that was not within the original, and the only reason I did that is to um, make it feel more complete as opposed to how I had originally set it up. So I, I think it actually went quite a bit better than I had ever imagined it because the original broken sin tune it just it didn't it didn't flow as well as this one and this one has an amazing bass set and it it shows my progress because after doing all a bunch of songs and then I finally come back to the original and I do it and it turns out amazing I think that's a, a the culmination of all my work, and then I put it into that. Obviously, I've done songs since then, but I still don't regard them as highly as I do Broken Sin. Um, in terms of everything else, Broken Sin is also going to be uh, released on its own with, with commentary and whatnot because people literally requested that. So... I think that it'll be something to look forward to, and I can't wait to release it. So, I guess I'll I'll be done with it. And as I said with Sleepless, know that this song was written with something in mind, because it not only ties into what I was talking about, but it ties into my past, and that I hope people can relate to. If they, if they just, if you have to listen, and maybe you'll get what I was saying. And if not, well, maybe if we meet someday, I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, it was, it was one of the deepest songs I ever wrote. So just keep that in mind, and 
Yeah. Enjoy the music.